Hi, and welcome to today's devotion. My name is Abimbola, and I, along with my husband Toba, are the African Connect pastors. We are continuing with our series, Thought of Therefore Go. In Matthew 28, we read about the Great Commission, where Jesus tells us his followers to go into all the world and make disciples. This week in our devotions, we will go on a journey through 2 Corinthians 5.17 that says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone and the new is here. Yesterday, we started the journey and asked what it is to be a new creation in Christ. Today, we are looking at letting go of the old. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new is here. This is according to 2 Corinthians 5.17. Holding on to past mistakes or hurts can feel like a heavy anchor dragging us down. Jesus invites us to release these burdens, assuring us that we are made new in him. Often, we struggle to let go of guilt, we struggle to let go of shame, we struggle to let go of regrets. Yet Jesus finds us in those painful places and offers forgiveness and freedom. His love assures us that we don't have to stay defined by what we were or what we did. We are invited into a new identity in him. This truth challenges us to see ourselves through Christ's eyes rather than through the lens of our past. The old habits, doubts, labels no longer have control over us. We are renewed, set free to walk confidently in our new identity. Jesus' love restores our hope and dignity, breathing life into part of us that felt lifeless. Today, I urge you to ask him to show you areas where you're still holding on to the old and allow him and allow his love to transform them. Let us pray. Father, help me to let go of the past and embrace the new life you have given me. Thank you for restoring my heart and renewing my spirit. Give me the courage to walk in the freedom you offer. Amen. Thank you.